hello guys in this video i will show you how you can kind of set up rockcell and download it so first you're gonna click on the link on the description of my video it's, uh it's gonna be this version this is the latest version v1.44 you're gonna download it and you're gonna extract it your desktop i don't know to your some paste on your computer so this is the base of rock cell you're gonna click on installer it's gonna open up cmd you're gonna press any key when you open cmd and it's gonna be installed but first when you install a uh, rock cell you need to restart your computer you're gonna restart it when it restarts, it's, it's actually going to work if you just install it and you open raw cell it's not going to work you need to first you need to restart your computer so right now this is my acceleration settings on csgo i am testing my acceleration settings on raw cell without a cap on my sensitivity that is a kind of weird for people that are uh, using the mouse acceleration other games or people that are doing videos on it almost everyone uses, uses cap but without cap I actually got a pretty use in, to it and it was pretty easy because your uh, your sensitivity is kind of limited to your hand speed if your hand speed is constant it's not going to matter that much it's always going to be the same so my hand speed is always the same you see i am doing this it's always going to this point here always this so it's not gonna feel that weird on my csgo i can still have a little control over my sensitivity over my 180s you see i can do like uh, this crazy 180 i did here you can start here and go right there let me see if i can do some flicks here yeah you can do some flicks So, Rauk Cell is great, a great, a great tool for people that are trying to improve terrain and maybe hitting some kind of plateau on terrain routines, training. Because you know, when you use a higher, uh, higher sensitivity, it's actually harder for you to control your micro just control some movements to have some consistency on your precision and rock cell lets you have lower sensitivity with uh, at the same time having a high sensitivity like the benefits of having low sensitivity and the benefits of having a high sensitivity like good precision at the same time with good mobility good flicks fast movement this is a pretty good thing that Rock Cell lets you have. So, my tip for you when you start using Rock Cell is to use either linear or natural game. These are the two that I most like and the ones I use. And when you start using Rock Cell, uh, I think it's better for you to use a higher DPI on your mouse. Like you see, my sense multiplier here is 0 0.5 and my vertical one is 0 0.6. It, it doesn't matter. I will explain to you later. It is a 0 0.5 because I know that Rock Cell works better at higher DPIs. And I was used to 400 DPI to my windows movements i was used to using 400 pi on windows and to uh, change the sensitivity on my game so to evade any confusion i just uh, put half a uh, half value here so i have 800 dpi now see here it's 800 dpi in my mouse but it's half here on sense multiplier so it's the same velocity same speed as 400 dpi so my sensitivity here 
even though it's 801.5, it's actually the same with 401.5, my sensitivity. And why I put a higher vertical value? Because I think we are actually better, better at uh, doing uh, horizontal movements regarding aiming and uh, using mouse than doing vertical movements. Because at vertical movements, we need to use our fingers and kind of not use our forearm. It's actually harder to do vertical movements on lower sensitivity. So I put kind of a higher value here. I was using 7, but now it's 6. Maybe I would put it higher. So a higher vertical value is actually nice on CSGO if you were used to some kind of higher sensitivity on your game and your sprays was you are you were used to doing your sprays at higher sensitivity so when you lower your sensitivity you're gonna have to pull down more so if you have to pull down more you're actually gonna have some trouble at controlling your your spray because you're not used to low sensitivity and this brings you back to another point of using raw Excel. So when you first start it, you're gonna put the, your acceleration on some, some, I don't know, I use four, uh, three, uh, maybe four or six, but because I'm not using any caps, I'm putting on three. But if you are using caps, let's see, I'm gonna use caps. I'm gonna put legacy because legacy, it's, it's the easier one and the one I most understand. If you're gonna use sensitivity cap, you can put a higher acceleration. You see it climb up here pretty fast. So you're gonna put a sensitivity cap here. And let's say that your sensitivity right now, it's kind of a higher one. You're a guy that are used to having a higher sensitivity. like. You use 400 dpi and 2.77 let's say so you are used to using two let me just put the acceleration off here fly so i can show you so you are used to this sensitivity this is your base sensitivity and you kind of want to lower your sensitivity to use raw cell to have the multiple benefits of raw cell like better precision lower sensitivity at the same time as a uh, higher sensitivity but if you do just like this you, you're gonna go here you're gonna put like acceleration like zero four you're gonna put sensitivity cap on one five and then you go here and just go to two it's gonna feel really weird for you because when you use a higher uh, sensitivity, you are pretty used to using your wrist to control your mouse and do mouse movements. To aim, you are using more of your wrist. So if you just put on a much lower sensitivity and you are not used to using your forearm and arm to aim, it's actu actually going to feel weird and it, you, I think you're not going to like rock cell. So first, you need to not use a rock cell. You're gonna lower your sensitivity, like it was 2.7. You're gonna go to 2.0, and you're gonna get used to the sensitivity. You need to get used to the sensitivity. So you like spend one day on the amps, getting used to this lower feeling of using your arm. When you get used to using kind of using your arm and your your forearm then when you get used to it you're gonna enable a rock cell you're gonna enable acceleration so like i said your acceleration before was two seven and now you went to zero and now you're gonna you want to maintain the feeling of the two seven that you had so you're going to have to do some kind of math here you're gonna do like let's see if you're using cap that's like everyone does you know so my cap here is one five so let's see one five oh my god let's see one five 
multiply to zero. So that's three, that's higher than what was your, your sensitivity. So let's put a lower value to 135. So 135 is kind of what you're using too. So your cap is going to be 135. To maintain the feeling when you do fast movements on your game, to maintain the same feeling you had before with 27, you'll see you can get a, a pretty constant feeling. But I think, even though it is a safe uh, way to use Rauxel, it's not the best way for me, for you to use it. Because you are actually just using the sensitivity when you do fast movements, the sensitivity that you were using before. So, you can try, like, to go higher, like, 1, 7. That is, 1, 7 and 2, that's 3, 4, that's a lot higher when you do fast movements. But the feeling of this fast movement, it's pretty good, because you're gonna have a much higher uh, mobility on the game, much higher speed and much nicer flicks if you get used to it than just using the safe way. And you can get used to it pretty fast. It's pretty easy to get used to this feeling. It's pretty nice feeling of just, you see, starting shooting a target here and just go to the uh, target behind you. And you have this fast flicks here that you can you cannot do with uh, such low sensitivities. So this is a way for you to set up your rock cell if you are a high sensitivity user and you want to lower your sensitivity. So if you are a lower sensitivity user, like you're, you use like like me, 400 DPI and 1.5 on CS:GO, like I, I was using. Before I start using Rock Cell, you're not gonna have that much trouble at using the Rock Cell, because at people that use lower uh, lower sensitivity can get pretty pretty much and pretty much use it to Rock Cell in pretty fast. So I'm gonna put my cap on zero here because I I I don't use any caps on my. On my Rock L setting right now, I I really like this feeling of just you can go as fast as you can if you want. But actually, without a cap, there's a limit to your hand uh, velocity, your hand speed, because my acceleration here is kind of small. If you put a higher acceleration, you can go even even beyond. You know, if you do a uh, kind of a fast move, I'm gonna just do like three through sixties. It's pretty crazy. So as you see, when I flick uh, behind me, it, it kind of went up because my uh, my vertical value is higher. So I kind of got using this vertical value with uh, unlimited acceleration, but it's pretty easy. And your spray, my spray right now is decent. I think I'm not a good, uh, like a best CS:GO player. I think I have good aim, but I'm not the best. And my spray is actually decent on a rock cell. It can get uh, kind of difficult with rock cell, but I think you can get used to it. So that's my introduction to rock cell and to what i use on csgo you can do it on other games uh this the, what i said to you guys can pretty much be used to any other games it depends the game you're using if you're using a game that's more uh, heavily uh focused on tracking like apex legends you may put uh, maybe a higher acceleration or uh, a, a higher offset. You see, when I put an offset here, it just the, the sensitivity maintains the same for quite some time here. So it's kind of good for tracking, you know. Uh, but I don't like uh, uh, when I 
uh, when I play uh, Apex Legends with this acceleration always goes, it's not, I, I don't feel any difficulty to track on Apex Legends. But uh, every game has its configuration. If you want, you can maintain the same. So this pretty much applies to all games you can play. And that's it, guys. I am sorry for my English. I am trying my best to make a good content regarding Rock Cell for you guys. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want more videos about Rock Cell on more games. And uh, I will try to bring you guys uh, some new information about Rock Cell, some nice gameplays. Some settings, some configuration, some new settings. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching.